Today I'm going to share with you my favorite artsy photographers. Some of them are already pretty known and maybe you already know them and some of them not so much, but that's not the point. The point is that they all capture amazing, inspiring photos that are worth checking out. So let's go. Alex Stoddard was one of the first conceptual photographers that I was introduced to and probably also part of the reason why I started doing this myself. He describes his own work as magic in the dark, which I think is very fitting. His work is oftentimes inspired by mythology, but he gives it a new and modern twist while still keeping that painterly look. And then he mostly does self-portraits, which is so freaking cool. You don't find a lot of guys doing self-portraits, which is just such a shame. Mega inspiring. Another photographer that keeps inspiring me over and over again is Iceland-based Yui Lee. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it the right way, but she always finds new innovative ways of using colors and you know, I appreciate someone who knows how to use their colors. Her photos are minimalistic and always pure eye candy. They oftentimes showcase the beautiful nature of Iceland in a very unique way too, which I just love. Another photographer who definitely knows how to use color and does it so well is Emily Satsker. She inspires so many people, including myself, during the lockdown where she took creative self-portraits in the comfort of her own home using just her phone. That was awesome, but what I love the most is actually her seeing music photo series where she created photos for songs. Brooke Di Donato or Di Donato or I don't know how to pronounce it but either way she's a great inspiration. She's truly her own and while her work can be a little bit disturbing at times it always gets you thinking and that's what art is all about, right? She always finds unique ways of capturing her models or herself with everyday objects and also if you need inspiration for using patterns and very pale colors in your work you need to look at this girl's work. I actually don't know if Jermaine would consider herself a photographer or more a visual artist. Either way, she creates amazing visuals that makes you wonder where you can go to find those cool places. <laughs> this is so weird, but I'm always amazed at how the grass looks in all her photos. It just looks so freaking perfect. I need to know the secret. Svatek or Steven Gindler is another one of the photographers that really inspired me to get started with photography. In the beginning I pretty much just copied his work because I loved it so much. He mostly shoots women with not a lot of clothes in abandoned places. It sounds so weird but just go look at his work, it's, it's insane. And then he edits so beautifully. Desha Pierce is a master of creating shapes in her photographs. Her work is very simple and with a strong and clear use of colors. I love it. <laughs> I partly love Anya's work because it's so freaking beautiful and aesthetically pleasing and partly because she also uses her voice to share a message about climate change. Something I also want to do more with my own art and something that I just think is very inspiring. Her photos are always beautiful and whimsical to look at. Lucas Ferrey, Ferrey, yeah. Oh my god, these names. <laughs> Lucas is also a self-portrait artist who shoots amazing self-portraits that has this very painfully ancient feel to them. I believe he's from Portugal and I don't understand a word of what he writes in his captions on his Instagram, but it doesn't really matter because his photos says it all. I just found out about Claire maybe a month ago and she blew me away with her amazing self-portraits. She mostly does close-up self-portraits, but each photo clearly has a very thought-out concept behind it. She's a huge inspiration worth checking out. The 
the work of Liam Wong is a little bit different from everyone else on this list because it's not so much conceptual photography. Liam Wong does a lot of street photography but he does it so well and his use of colors is amazing which is also why I just had to include him in this video. Even if you're not into this kind of photography he's definitely worth checking out with his cool sci-fi-esque photos. Aniset is a photography duo of Anna Davis and Daniel Grueda. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this the right way. And they do very graphic, fun photos where you can't help but smile if you look at them. I especially love how much effort they put into making their small behind the scenes videos so that you can really see how much work that actually went into making their artwork. Okay, don't laugh. Anka Suravleva. Yeah, that was definitely wrong. <laughs> this photographer has an amazing understanding of color, which really shines through in her final photos. I especially love her Color Tale series, where she plays a lot with the blue and the red colors. Her photos are very modern, thought provoking, but at the same time, they have a vintage feel to them, which I just love. She's a huge inspiration, but be careful. Looking at her work makes me feel bad about my own work sometimes, so just keep that in mind. This photography duo's work has been on my inspiration board ever since I can remember, but it was just until recently that I found out about the artists behind the amazing work. The reason that I love their work so much is probably because of the confident female energy that just shines through in all of their images. Of course, combined with the amazing use of color contrast. There are so many more artists out there that are amazing and inspiring, but obviously I can't talk about all of them in this video. So now it's your turn to go down in the comments below and type your favorite artist or artists. You can type more than one if you want. And hopefully you can go and check out each other's comments and find more inspiring artists that, yeah. Can inspire you. If you're interested in creative photography and you haven't subscribed already, I definitely think now is the time to go down below and hit the little subscribe button and the bell button so you never miss my future videos. And also if you like this video, just give it a like. It would make me very happy. Here's my Instagram and until next time, bye.